Here's what you need to know about the Climb Vector Parka. The Vector jacket went through a brand new redesign for the 2014-15 season. Primarily, the most noticeable difference is going to be the styling. There's no longer a three color palette to these jackets as they got rid of that grayish white and they just left it with the black and the primary color of the jacket. As you can see in front of me here, I have the straight up black and yellow jacket. So when it comes to sizing, the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to the product page and check out the sizing chart. But just for reference, this is MC Hammer. Don't ask how he got his nickname, but he's about six foot four and he usually takes a large with other casual gear that he wears and he is wearing the large jacket right now and it fits him pretty well. So the Vector is an insulated jacket. When it comes to climbing, you can either get just the shell or a jacket like this, which is going to be fully insulated. This makes use of 200 gram thin slate material, which is going to give you that warmth without the added bulk. If you're looking at the line of insulated jackets, this comes around the middle to higher range jacket. You can go to something like the Quinoa if you want a little bit something more aggressive that really makes use of their comfort mapping technology. Or if this can be too much for you, a little bit of your price range, you can slip down to something like the Climat jacket. So like most things in the Climb lineup, this is going to be made with Gore-Tex, meaning that it's going to be 100% waterproof and windproof. And on top of that, to add some durability to this jacket, there's going to be a 1682 ballistic nylon in it, which is going to be found in the shoulders and the elbows, which are very high impact areas of the jacket. All right, so now let's go over all the little things that make this a true top of the line climb jacket. So starting with the exterior of the jacket, you're going to find four pockets on the outside. We have two by the chest area, and then we have two standard ones by the waist. If you take a look now at the ventilation, I've already talked about the bicep, which are new for this 2014-15 version of the jacket. And then we have the standard two around the ribcage area. Now, if you take a closer look at these zippers, you're going to see that they are waterproof. So you're not going to have to worry about any water seeping through there as you're out riding. Now, if we take a look at the more parts of the exterior of the jacket, there's going to be scotch light around it, which is a nice reflective material for that added safety feature. We have it here by the shoulder area. And if we flip around to the back of the jacket, you're going to find it up on the neck, the midsection of the back as well, and then this is still the shoulder area seeping over from the front of the jacket. Now when I have this guy flipped over, you can take a look by the collar of the jacket. There's a strap here for your helmet, so it's going to play nice with almost any type of helmet you have. You can easily loosen it, tighten it, and adjust it to fit properly. Let's flip it over back to the front of the jacket here. And just before I get inside, I'll point out that there is Velcro straps on the cuff that you can use to adjust with your gloves. And then there's an interior gaiter to make sure that your gloves are going to stay nice and secure and snow is not going to get in there into your sleeves, making you cold. So now let's go ahead and open up the jacket and show you just some of the internal features. There's Velcro straps as well as a big zipper. And we've got this open. Just at the bottom, there is going to be a D-ring and then flip this guy completely open and you'll see that beside the D-ring, there's going to be two adjustments that you can use to tighten the jacket to make sure that there's a nice secure fit as you're riding. And we'll have two internal pockets, both sides of your chest and one of them, there is going to be a special area for you to put your iPhone or an MP3 player. You can easily slip the earbuds up through, through it and then there's another little strap elastic band up here so that your cords aren't going to be dangling around in front of you. Finally, last but not least, you'll find a nice soft fabric up around the collar just so it's not going to be rubbing against your neck causing any sort of discomfort. Now that was a closer look at the Climb Vector jacket. Definitely a great choice if you're interested in an insulated jacket from Climb.